What's going on guys, I'm Money back in again with your weekly rust skins videos and as you can see we have the lumberjack pack finally out. It of course comes with the lumberjack hazmat skin which is a skin for the hazzy. Um, then we've got some stone tools, the hatchet and the pickaxe. Um, they both have their unique face punch skins and then the metal tools, the um, pickaxe, the metal pickaxe and the metal hatchet also have unique skins. So. Um, I don't think that this is a thing anymore, but possibly over the next couple of days, I'm not sure if it's been patched yet or not, but um, at the moment you can craft the metal tools without having a BP, but it is confirmed that it is going to get patched, um, which is a shame, but it would have been ultra pay to win if, um, if you could craft the metal tools without actually having to learn the BPs. So uh, $19.95, 20 bucks for the Lumberjack Pack AUD. Um, it doesn't have any pay to win aspects besides the BP thing which is now obviously getting patched so overall uh, and also it probably won't be marketable but overall I really do think the Arctic pack is a better cop like you're getting the Arctic pay to win hazzy skin that has the extra cold protection and a sick looking AK skin that has particle effects and looks just chat for the same price so um, you can decide for yourself whichever one you'd prefer but which one I would prefer overall. So let's have a look at the limited skins for the week. And we'll start with the clothing. We've got the chainmail poncho. It apparently seems that poncho skins are just getting accepted um, willy-nilly these days. And this one's going for $3.05. So face punch, just don't know what they're doing with the prices. And I do think that that is going to negatively affect um, pretty much all skins these days, all new skins from the rest of them store. Uh, going onto the community market just because the prices are always just so expensive these days for no reason. So we've got the chainmail poncho going for $3.05 which is above standard store price for clothing. Um, honestly I don't understand why it's this price. It's it's okay looking but it's nothing crazy. Um, I don't think it's going to have a very high demand once it leaves the rest of the store. Currently it is sitting fourth on the top sellers um, and overall I do think it's highly likely that the chainmail poncho is going to get oversaturated. As long as we don't keep getting poncho skins every bloody week, um, I don't think that these are going to be a bad long-term investment as long as you pick this one up off of the community market with the buy order. By the way, I'm sick, so that's probably why I sound a little funny at the moment. Overall though, the chainmail poncho, it's too expensive to buy off the Russellham store and so I won't recommend getting it off the Russellham store. Instead, I'd recommend getting it off the community market with the buy order. Okay, moving over to the weapons. We'll look at the AK. So we've got the Elite Crate AK going for $5.35. It's called the Elite Crate AR, just to be clear. Um, way more expensive than the standard store price. And <clears throat> I honestly don't understand why. It just seems like they're putting random price tags on anything these days. And they don't really have an understanding on why something is more expensive than uh, something else. So this AK isn't glowing or anything like that. It is um, a part of a relatively successful set, but hasn't had weapons before. Um, so this is the first weapon for the Elite Crate set, which I, I, I found the Elite Crate set worked quite well for the deployables, but I think it's a weird one to continue on with weapons. Overall, I do think the Elite Crate AR does look quite nice, um, but I just think it's quite odd to continue the Elite Crate um, over from deployables onto weapons now, but $5.35, I'm not going to recommend investing in this one at all. Um, I, it's just way, 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 way too expensive. We've already got our favorite AK skins in the community market that we all want to buy already, um, and I do think AK skins are usually a pretty bad investment, um, and for an AK skin, way above standard store price at $5.35. Um, I just don't think this is going to be a good investment at all. So I definitely steer clear of the Elite Crate AR. If you want to pick it up as a play skin, I'd even recommend getting it off the community market as well, simply because I don't think it's going to perform well. Currently it's third on the top seller, so people clearly do like it, but I don't think it's going to have that crazy high demand on the community market um, once it leaves the rest of the store. So I do think its price will go down. Okay, moving over to the military double barrel. So this one's going for $3.05, which is, I'm, I'm assuming, going to be the standard 
these days for the weapon prices. Um, I'm assuming that the uh, Australian dollar must be down or something at the moment because the prices do seem more expensive. Overall, it's actually a really nice looking DB skin, but honestly, I don't think it's really crazy standout or anything like that. It definitely has its own unique look with the militaristic styling, um, but I just don't think it's really going to have a crazy high demand um, for it to match the price that it's going for on the Rustledum store. So I do think that is it's a shame that it's so expensive on the Rustledum store, um, but I do think it's also a good thing for the skin creator because I do think this is quite a high quality skin. Overall as an investment though, I don't think you're going to be making money off of the military DB um, off of the rest of them store. So if you want to try and invest in this one, I'd recommend placing bonds on the community market for it because overall this one is too expensive on the rest of them store. Okay, moving over to the final weapon of the week, we've got the Venomous LR. Also going for $3.05, which is I guess is the standard store price for weapons at the moment. So the Venomous set just has not been successful at all. It's quite a simple set to be completely honest. It looks like it's just got one JPEG slapped over the top of it and it has a um, uh, color hue um, gradient going across from left to right. So overall, the Venomous set hasn't had a very high demand. LR skins are a little bit harder for some players to get in Rust. Not only that, but they're not all, they're also not really like the top tier guns. Of course, you've got the AK, um, and now you've got the HM LMG, and of course, you've also got the M249. So, the Venomous LR isn't really going to have a very high demand once it leaves the Rust Home Store and goes to the community market um, for two reasons. One, it's an LR, and two, the Venomous set just hasn't been successful so far, and I do think that that is going to um, continue with the Venomous LR. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Venomous LR off of the rest of the store, and I don't think that it's going to make you money if you try and invest in it. Alrighty, moving over to the Stump Furnace, going for $2.30. This is actually quite a unique looking furnace skin, and um, honestly, I do like it. I'm not sure if it's referencing anything. I could be just having a complete brain dead moment. Currently, it's six on the top sellers, so it's actually, it seems like it's selling quite a lot for a furnace skin. Um, there is a pretty decent chance of oversaturation with this bad boy, but I do think it is actually unique enough to um, be able to perform decently on the community market in the future. So as a long-term investment, I will recommend investing in the Stump Furnace as I do think it will have demand in the future, um, whether you pick it up off the Rust store or the community market to maximize potential profits. But overall, the Stump Furnace should perform all right. Alrighty, moving over to the poor man's cardboard door, going for $2.30. So, we've already got a wooden door skin that looks very similar to this one. Um, I'm pretty sure it might have been a Twitch drop. Yeah, it was. So, the Brit wooden door. I have nothing. Um, honestly, I'm not... I don't know. I'm not a massive fan of the fact that we've got some very similar looking um, skins here. So... I feel like the I have nothing thing, no loot inside, It's it's been done, and it's on a wooden door as well, just like the previous one, so honestly a little bit disappointing in my opinion. Um, we've also got like the I work long shifts all week, don't raid me, some crap like that, on another wooden door, and so I really just think that this is a um, less original idea these days. Overall, I don't think it's a terrible skin, I think it's kind of cool. Um, but I do think that it's just too similar to the other ones and it's just another wooden door skin So um, honestly, I'm not going to recommend investing in this one just because I don't think the demands really going to be there once people have already got the free um, Version of this that is debatably better um, And then also there is another one that's already on the queue on the market So overall not going to recommend investing in the poor man's cardboard door off the rest of them store but if you want to try and pick it up um, with a buy order off of the community market, then I do think overall as a long-term investment, you could make some money off of it. But I don't think it's going to be a very high amount simply because it is a wooden door skin. And wooden door skins aren't used for very long throughout a rust wipe. Alright, moving over to the body bag door, going for $2.30. Honestly, I just don't like this door skin. I don't think it's going to do anything. On the community market, I don't think it's going to have any demand. I don't think it glows. Like 99% sure it doesn't glow. 
Um, it looks okay during the day, but a body bag door, I just don't see it working. I just, I just don't like the skin, and honestly, I don't think it's going to perform well. Really don't think it's a standout skin. I think it's pretty forgettable, to be completely honest. Sorry to the skin creator, but I just think this one is a little bit plain. The texture of the actual door skin itself looks pretty sick, so good work to the skin creator for that one. Um, but I just don't like the concept, I'm sorry. $2.30 though, um, overall I'm not going to recommend investing in the body bag uh, door off of the Ross Sutton store for this week. Alrighty, last but not least we've got the Constellations Metal Double Door going for $3.85, which is I'm guessing the standard store price these days for glowing deployables. So obviously this bad boy does glow, I'm pretty sure this is um, not, I'm pretty sure this is the first of this uh, skin set but I do see this set definitely continuing. Um, so, double door skins. We've got two double door skins um, that are actually below this double door skins price in the community market. Um, and then we have the latest double door skin to have released, which is the um, third cheapest, which was also a glowing deployable, going for $4.34, that being the storage room double door. And then followed by the cheapest um, glowing deployable double door skin after that one is the gingerbread double door going for four dollars and 99 cents which came out um either the christmas has just come or christmas before that with 101 quantity so obviously got crazy oversaturated so overall um double door skins especially glowing double door skins usually are a pretty decent investment this one's going to make it a little bit harder with the higher price three dollars and 85 cents but overall is a long-term investment and also if this constellations um does become a set uh, then I do see the Constellations Metal Double Door uh, being a good investment and going up in value. So whether you want to try and pick this one up for a little bit cheaper on the community market with a buy order or pick it up off the rest of the store, um, that can be your choice. But overall, I will recommend investing in the Constellations Metal Double Door off of the rest of the store for this week, as I do think it will be a good investment um, whether that be through short term with the skins continuing to release and become a set. Um, or it just go to, you know, Christmas, December, January, February, and being able to sell it at that higher price point. So overall, I do think the Constellations Metal Double Door will be a good investment. Also, help with the naming of this actual skin, because it was originally called the Star Patterns Door, and I added Kevensi in my Discord and told him they should change it to Constellations, and we've got it accepted, so congrats. Okay guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video for this week. I'm probably not going to show my cart this week because I'm not going to buy um, skins today, but I'll probably buy later throughout the week. I only bought Blackout Poncho last week. I bought one, so I really haven't been investing at all lately. Um, prices have just been way higher than they are usually, which is a little bit disappointing, and I haven't really been playing too much Rust either, so I'm a little bit uh, less motivated at the moment to buy Rust skins but I'm sure that'll change once Halloween comes around because that's usually my favorite time of the year for Ruskin. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one. Why? 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 Why?